hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to conditionally format our data sets using the xlookup and the dynamic array filter function in excel for the web so let's roll hey i'm going to ask you to pay attention and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so for more videos so let's make sense of our data set and what we want to achieve at the end of this video now in our data set we have this sys data we have the date account manager the cities and the total generated for each of the city by account manager now we have what's called a lookup table in column h and column i and we have all the unique cities and the target sales now for instance the target for the city of birmingham is ninety thousand. for liverpool is seventy thousand dollars for london is a hundred and ten thousand dollars now we're going to use the x lookup first and foremost to conditionally format our data set so for every rows that satisfy this target in other words that is equal to or greater than the target sales then we want to format using a specific format color and for the one that do not satisfy the criteria i'm going to use another color so let's proceed now in order to make it suitable and more enjoying i'm going to build up the formula in column h so let's start so i'm going to start by typing equal sign and i'm going to click on cell d2 and use math operators greater than or equal to then i'm going to deploy the xlookup function now the xlookup requires the lookup value so for the lookup value i want to look up this value in cell c2 comma and for the lookup array i'm going to select this entire unique series then we have the spill operator which is working fine just like in excel on the desktop so comma now i want to return the corresponding target based on this lookup array and of course the lookup value so i'm going to select this entire in the numbers from cell i2 to i6 and then close the parentheses now before i hit the enter on the keyboard i'm not going to forget to apply appropriate references for instance i'm going to apply actual cell reference to this h2 and i2 to i16 so that when i copy the formula down it doesn't move relatively so on the keyboard i'm going to press f4 so it is now absolute cell reference again for this cell d2 and cell c2 i'm going to apply mixed cell reference in other words i'm going to apply the dollar sign to lock down the column d and also the column c so that when we apply the conditional formatting behind the same it's going to give us exactly what we want to achieve so just come to d d2 and press f4 key one two three so we have effectively locked down the column d because we want to apply the conditional formatting to the entire rows okay so we do not need to lock the row but the column so i'm going to come to c2 again do the same thing f4 key one two three and that's all control enter well that's beautiful now let's make sense of this okay the target for the city of london is a hundred and ten thousand dollars and we did a hundred and sixteen thousand which is well above the target and this returned true so we're actually expecting truths and forces now i'm going to show you something i actually don't want to be you know dragging down it's going to take a lot of time so i'm going to show you a technique Control c to copy this value of course i'm going to actually use the formula behind this value in cell f2 move to two cells to the left control down arrow key and then two columns to the right and control shift up arrow key and control v that's beautiful so we have effectively copied down the formula from the starting point to the last you know cell at the bottom so this is good now i'm going to copy this formula Control c then we're going to press escape and come to our data set where we're going to apply the conditional formatting so let's select the data set excluding the headers so Control shift right arrow key Control shift down arrow key Control backspace to move to the starting point and then in the home tab of the ribbon i'm going to click on conditional formatting and we actually want to set a new rule now this is actually a brand new conditional formatting tax pin that comes up to the right of our screen now this actually was 
announced some few days ago by the Microsoft Excel team. Okay, so we have you know selected the range. What I'm going to do is to specify the rule type. So for the rule type, we actually want to use formula. So then we have this format of values where this formula is true. Now I'm going to paste the formula here in Control V. Now one thing you need to be careful of is if you actually want to make any changes to your formula, you must press F2 in order to go through this formula. Otherwise it's going to break a formula so i'm going to press f2 okay all right so i can actually move within the formula now which is beautiful now for the format weight we can actually choose any color we want in this case we're going to go with green fill with dark green text and that's all we need to do so click done and that's beautiful our data set is conditionally formatted so we can actually see for the city of liverpool the target is seventy thousand dollars and we did seventy five thousand four three two dollars so which was exactly true now let's take for the city of Sheffield. now the target is sixty nine thousand sixty seven thousand dollars but we did just below the target which is sixty five thousand dollars plus okay and that wasn't formatted now let's assume that won't actually format okay all these our values that do not satisfy the criteria that we specified so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to this formula and use a function called not logical function so i'm going to type in not open parenthesis so close parenthesis control enter now it's going to reverse the truths to forces and the other way around so let's copy down the formula and copy the formula control c escape select the data set control shift right down arrow key control backspace now in the conditional formatting tax pane we have this new button new rule so you can actually click on the new rule and you choose the rule type formulas then we paste the formula now i'm going to go with this light red field with dark red text so click return and that is beautiful now let's quickly move to the filter function so i'm going to come to the filter function again i'm going to build up the same formula in column f equal sign i want to check d2 are you greater than or equal to then deploy the filter dynamic array function now for the array i'm going to return this any of these numbers okay let me close this momentarily and comma okay let's come back here comma and for the include argument i want to check the value in cell c2 are you equal to any of these unique series now we also have the spill operator again don't forget to apply absolute zero reference f4 key one and then we come here i'm going to apply f4 key also once to make it absolute and for our c2 and d2 we're going to apply partial or mixed cell reference which is f4 key one two three to lock down column c and of course we want to lock down the column d f4 key one two three okay and that's all we need to do we can close off the parenthesis and deploy control enter and again control c two columns to the left control shift control down arrow key Two columns to the right, control shift up arrow key, control V to paste the formula. And then let's come to our data set. Control shift right arrow key, control shift down arrow key, control backspace. Now come to the conditional formatting. Uh, we want new rule. Again, we want to use formula and paste the formula here. Oops. Okay, let me come back to our data set escape. So I'm going to copy this again. Control C, escape, select the data set. Okay, and then we want to paste the formula, Control V, and that's cool. Let's choose the same color, green film, with dark text, dark green text, and then we click done. And that is absolutely amazing. So it is exactly the same result we achieve now let's tidy things up let's use the not logical function so just type in not open parenthesis close the parenthesis at the end of the formula control enter copy the formula control c escape select the data set control shift right down arrow key control backspace click on new rule and then we want to use formula 
paste the formula and that's all let's go with this color done oh that is beautiful so this is how we can use the x local and the filter function inside our conditional formatting to format our data set i hope you enjoyed this video this is actually new in formatting tax pin in excel for the web you can actually do the same thing on the desktop version of excel but this is actually a new experience in excel for the web and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you and remain blessed cheers